Greetings and welcome back to the Skunks. There are lies being peddled in public and I've been watching and laughing in private. But my name won't be Modwato if I didn't dig deep into the people's business to find out the truth. I have no apologies for this video and after I say what I got for say, y'all could come for me. Before we get started, I want to invite you to join the Ministry of Skunt by pressing that red and white subscribe button and turning on post notifications so you can stay up to date with our daily news series. Now, if it's not obvious yet from the thumbnail or the title, we are here to get to the bottom of this Latanya Pierce issue. I'm going to say this right off the bat. I don't believe one skunk that Magnum said about that girl. I don't believe he had any Baku or snake inside him and I don't believe that any snake was extracted from his belly despite all that he's doing to make us believe in that fairy tale. And I will tell you why at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Tegala, what? Let's go all the way back to the chronicles of Magnum and Latanya. Who could remember the KY jelly in a tube scandal? No? Let me bring you up to speed. A few years back, there was a video circulating on social media that showed Magnum handcuffed to a bed while a young woman was bursting his skunt, accusing him of using KY jelly that was not hers because hers was in a tube. Remember now? That woman's name is Latanya Pierce. He gave an interview to Newsroom and of course, we've kept the receipts. Watch. Alright, we're going to be very um, candid in this interview this morning. Tell us about that video that is circulating on social media and um, the violence that was meted out to you by a female. Let's talk about how you're dealing with this. Um, actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a funny situation to me, like, you know, it's something that, um, that I understand that it's serious and it could get serious um, in terms of what she did. And, you know, like, like I said, it's something very serious to her, but like being a dancehall controversial DJ, these is things that I'm built for and I'm prepared for. So that's the reason why you hear me saying, okay, it's funny to me. But then getting critical now, um, it's something that, that if I was supposed to be that person that wasn't built for this, you understand? Like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It could have it, it could have just got on a big negative road. All right, if DJ Magnum was found in a video, abusing a woman, especially handcuffing her, especially the handcuffing her, handcuffing her at her bed, and that video got out there, um, assuming these are some things that I know would have happened. First of all, um, without the girl giving a statement or a report, the police would have been looking for me kicking down doors, looking all about where is Magnum, this guy shouldn't be out there in the public and them would have bash me now, going up to the magistrate the magistrate who would have probably seen the video you know, the magistrate would have, would have like a glad fame come to me so she could hide me away because the first thing she gonna do are, are him um, they're gonna look at the girl. They're gonna say that, oh, she's a girl, and you spoil this girl because after this video is out there, no man ain't gonna want her. No man ain't gonna wanna marry her, and 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 I'm supposed to be this big DJ, and that's the level that I'm. It, it woulda been a reman, pan reman. The video in question went viral about a year after the incident and Latanya was 22 years old at the time. She was also pregnant. We all know about that jealous pregnant demon that does hold on on some women. Here's an interview she gave to Travis Chase in an effort to clear the air. Well, this yes. video was made on the 30th of December last year. It was all year's night. I was at a wedding was drinking alcohol, consumed some alcohol, and he was supposed to come and uplift me at a certain time, but actually didn't come. And when he came, he was angry. He was angry, and he was, um... So I go, went in the car, mm -hmm. and when I went in the car, he actually drove out without me even closing the door. Mm -hmm. and nearly fell out of the car. So we went home, and he's into these kinky stuff and all these things, so I was just making a funny joke with him. 
right? And you can see he was very comfortable in the Fiji because he didn't react and he could easily come out of that. Tell me about the KY jelly part of it. <laughs> Well, I was pregnant and actually they used KY jelly to do an ultrasound on the tummy. So they didn't actually have. So I used it. I collect one and I did my ultrasound and it was in my bag. And on when I arrived at his home, in his bed, it was a tube. So he was telling me that it's my KY jelly. And I was like laughing because I know he's lying. It is not my. And people get to that KY jelly, it's some big deal. But it's not only for anal or what he would say because Normally, if, okay, as a decent woman, some guy just want to use saliva and all these yes. things, but something decent is not something bad, has the claim. What's your position with the relationship now? You wish to continue it or you leave? No, I would leave because it's not, it's not something that you know you love somebody, mm -hmm. you go through the storm, if he's sick, I take care of him, mm -hmm. and to know that you can actually say this about me, that to show that my love in count and you just, when I give you love, you show me hate. Just to know that you had me down in your mind and you planning to sink me because he threatened me enter my leave him. He can't stand seeing me with another man and all these things. Like everybody knows he's aggressive towards me. Has he ever threatened to kill you? Well, he was saying he'd be like this. If I see another man with you, I will lash your head and you know these things. Drop two lashes, your mother scunt, yes. Anyways, there's more to her than meets the eye. When she gave this interview, she was a laboratory technician with aspirations of becoming a medical doctor. The same year, 2017, she participated in the Miss Region 3 cultural pageant. Now, this fact about her is what punched a hole in Magnum's story. She grew up in Virginugen and has ancestral connections to the Carib and Waro tribes. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of a buck performing obia on anybody. If you have evidence to the contrary, please let me know. Now back to Magnum. His house was set on fire a short while after that KY jelly incident. And the prime suspect was, guess who? Latonya Pierce. Pierce was charged with arson and appeared before Clive Nurse at the Wales Magistrates Court. She was granted self-bail after Magnum let her off the hook by choosing not to provide evidence against her. Please forgive me for providing all this backstory, but it all ties together. Trust me. The next highlight is this. Yo, I'm not telling a lie, you know. From the day, I hold it, brother. Big up my fans, I hold it out, man. Yeah, man. When you say I hold it, I me me bite my tongue, you know. I'm a youth when I know to do that, you know. I bite my tongue. I bite girl tongue. I bite no tongue. See, you know, I hold it. When I see someone I test my feet, you know. When I draw me out. See? Alright. When you know I'm quick for telling you, I'm going to suck on a big pussy, mother, you know. Wanna ramp with me, wanna rascal to ramp with me, make me thrown up. Call me thrown up. Come me see some little man a gang up. And wanna a gang up. <laughs> some of wanna want man f wanna know. Some boy in a music want your fifth them. Yeah. Take out your cocky and push in at them. But you see me, I'm a treat. I'm in a shaky. See me, I see people things and bad mind over it. I'm in a f man. See? Me a top gallus, international gallus. If a boy feel like him can try me like Beach Loaf, come try me. Me style ever one of them. See? Remember, my, yo, my blood a boil you know, and I mali this, and I any see this, and I weed this a cracker cooking. My well and sober. And I know me I say, Guyana, me a warn them. Me a warn them. Alright. This is the last time me attack. See? I mean, I want a boy feel like say, this train can't run without one no. See? This train can't run without blood clot one no. So one can go hitch up and chat my name like one a pussy you know. See? That's all one good for rascal one you no. Know? Cause can't see me a road and try nothing you no. Know? Cause one know me a bad man selector do. You? One know me a bad man and it's on a social media man. See? A boy can try this you know. I make me show you how gangster game blood clot play. You know, like a little idiot, hungry belly, rice it up, pussy, all you know. Batty man, you know. Suck on a mother. Big pussy mother, too. The man he's talking to is a rival DJ from Linden called Kenny Hype. The man tell Kenny Hype the sucky, big, pokey mother. Then decided to go into the man's territory to prove that he bad. As you may all remember, he left Linden with a big boongie that night and even had to get a CT scan the next day to make sure his Jamaican accent was still working properly. Apparently, his Yardi accent was still intact. 
Here's him giving an interview on MAD and lying that he didn't pick no trouble when everybody know how he tell Kenny Hype got sucky mother. Watch. Yeah, so give us an update on what transpired yesterday. Yeah, I went to Linden with no um no bad vibes. No intention of anything negative cause me and nobody in no problem. Yeah. You understand? Situation so we're okay. Like Magnum disrespect a man and supposed to be on the lookout. Or I went to the party and I saw somebody and dropped two bad words on them. No, it's nothing like that. Yes. It wasn't a, a run situation. It's like me get kinda I couldn't do nothing. Okay. But just accept what was given to me. That's why I'm there so I, 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 and, and look at life from a different angle because if dude had a knife, I do that a gun. It was he, he, he could have put two in me easily. Yeah. I feel so, had a knife. So what what um are the injuries sustained? Oh um well I got I got some few some few like baby stabs mm -hmm. I mean um, and uh, I wouldn't say fracture as like 100% mm -hmm. but according to the CT scan um, Woodlands even wanted to admit me okay. but you know it's weekend yeah. and we can't do bad with the hospital thing you know what I mean you hear that the doctors wanted to admit him but he refused that my friends is when the Baku was born and the snake got inserted into Magnum's belly. If you take a look at the size of the knot on his head that night, you will know that it was no easy lash to head he got. I believe Magnum needs prayers indeed, but not for no Baku nor snake, but for a possible brain injury he sustained that night that caused his breaker to trip. Magnum now believes he has a Baku following him and a snake inside his belly. Watch. Social media. This is not Magnum talking to y'all, you know. This is Dorel Kester room you're talking to y'all. I'm going through something right now. What is not a laughing matter? A serious thing. Here I'm going through. In the night, it's problem for sleep. Last night for the first time. See people is talking about Wobi and them thing. It's not real and Paco and them thing. For the first time, I see a Baku. God above me. You ever tell you? Latanya Pierce. Latanya Pierce. You are your mother. See, y'all send this Baku, you know, and this snake. People, anybody, a yaga. Guy moving up like a snake. You're waiting for the new moon. Because a Magnum supposed to run mad. Magnum supposed to do things what he ain't supposed to do. So when I do it, you know people gonna say, I know the buy what I run now. But people they never know it's not me. You know how long this thing there for me, people? Like these people buy this thing as a child and put it now it start grow. As the moon change it said, guy in. Well I tell you, Latanya Pierce, you and your mother, you all waiting for the moon change. Remember, it's God control the moon and all. Don't play with me, you know. People right now, me and put in shame, I need help. Anybody know a church, pastor? Right now, these people just cloud up everywhere for me. If 20 people want to link up and say, Magnum, me and my church coming by you. And trample every demon. Watch when the snake jump out of me. Who going to punish? Watch who going to punish? I know it's not a madman. Imagine I can't sleep night time. Because the saw this girl set it. And just there in a kind of peeping and peeping and peeping. Now, I'm going to talk something social media. I'm going to talk something now. You know what I tell you all? It's not a madman. I can't trust what I'm saying. Y'all know why the tomb broke the other day? Y'all know why the tomb break because Latanya Pierce and her mother didn't want to feed me. You didn't come to feed me. So I shame you. I shame you. The reason I give you the entire backstory is so you can understand the place where Magnum is coming from. 
Latanya Pierce is not guilty of losing any demon on Magnum, but she caused him a lot of pain in the past. After all, she is a red woman. You notice his Jamaican accent is totally gone in that clip? This is my message to Magnum. Collect back your money from that snake egg Obia man, go back to Woodlands and get another CT scan and make sure there is nothing growing in your head. Then take the rest of my advice and stop buggering them little girls. You know, based on magic, the snake represents sexual activity within Haitian. The snake is about sexual activity. Now, if you say in the current you got a snake jumping on you, you better stop putting your cap down them little girl chote and bothering them and them thing and find some big woman your own age, married and settled down. Yo, my name is Mudwater. Boom out! Hold up.